What's going on guys? Uh, been a while since I've had a video, but I thought, uh, you know, I took a day off, so I seem to be getting a lot of comments, a lot of hits on my channel, uh, you know, basically all summer long, so I figured, you know, I might as well do a video to let everybody know I'm still alive. Um, what I have here is a Winchester Model 94. This is a post-64, which doesn't sound as cool and isn't as cool as a pre-64, but it's a post-64. This thing's from the 70s. Um, but uh, we want to clean this thing, and I got into this thing a little bit, and I was like, you know what, I, this would make a good video just to tear down the whole receiver of one of these things and uh, see how it works and, and just go through that whole process. So uh, I actually have not done that before, so I'm going to do it uh, basically on video for the first time. So <clears throat> what I'm starting out with is a, just a machine screwdriver, which is uh, pretty important. Uh, we want to make sure we have nice fits so we don't gall up the, the receiver. Uh, I've got a punch. What size is this thing? Three thirty seconds punch. And then my beater screwdriver. Uh, and that's just what I'm going to start with. We'll see how this goes. So looking at this thing and just kind of like thinking about it a little bit here. I think I'm going to start from the outside. I'm going to try to just take this. Looks like the butt stock is just held on by a single screw here. Uh, that comes all the way through to here. So I'm going to pull that guy off, take a look at what's in there, get rid of the lever maybe, you know, just kind of work our way kind of around here. But but let's just start doing this thing right now, see what happens. So one thing I will say is the screwdriver, I like to use uh, the ratcheting screwdrivers anytime I'm doing anything where I don't want to mess stuff up. Ratcheting meaning... I don't have to take my hand off of the screwdriver to regrip. So let's see what this thing does. There it is. That bottom tang fell right out. Push that bolt out. And I think, yep, that just comes right out. Pretty, pretty easy so far. You can see our main spring in there doing its deal. How the hammer works with that. All right, just keep working away around here. Actually, I'm betting I can pull, this looks like this hinges off of the trigger. The trigger assembly looks like it hinges off of this thing. Let me pull that thing right now. There's really no tension on that spring, so I'm just going to dump it while I can. Yep. Hammers out. This just, just pulls out. Yep. Nice. So far, so good. Okay, let's dump this lever. Seems like that's keeping some stuff together. Well, that was loose. I love these guns. I have always loved these guns. I need to get one. Oh, I see. All right, so that slips out. There's the hammer, whatever you call that, falling block, something. That seems to be stuck in there. That must be pinned. I don't know what. This video is going to be a bunch of me talking to myself. All right, so this these set of screws hold in the lifter. That's to try. I got to get that. I gotta get this out of here first. So let's just see what this does. This somehow is, oh man, that's what I'm talking about. Can't see because of the light. All right. Okay, a little shorty screw there. Nothing come out though. Oh, there's a pin. Is there anything on the other side? Or 
there's a hole. Let's see if I can push that pin out. Yep. Well, I don't know how easy that is to see. Try not to launch this pin across the room. There we go. Pins out. What's that do? Oh, that frees up. Firing pin. Oh, there it goes. Okay. There's the lever. Keep that together. Bolt's not ready to come out yet. Oh, that thing. Move the bolt out of the way. It looks like this is next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got. got our feeds port here I don't know what any of the technical names are I'm not a lever guy but I want to be there's that thing well it looks like we've got a pin there oh that's a screw All right, it looks like some of the f guides inside internally, right? These guides you can kind of see in here, right, are held in by these little screws here. I think my screwdriver yeah, is way too big. Let me go get another screwdriver. Okay, so got a little mini screwdriver here. So add that to the tool list and we'll grab this guy. And really, if you get it to this point, as long as you get the bolt out, you can clean it, you know, from the bore side or from chamber side whatever you want to call it which is really all i wanted to do but it doesn't look like this thing has been used a ton but it also doesn't look like it's been cleaned in 30 years so i'll just take it all apart and do the whole thing all right so there's that piece and the screw that goes with it these little screws uh, got a little bit of rust in them. I'm going to clean that up. Try to keep these guys uh, together here. That actually doesn't look too dirty at all right there. And let's do the other side. Okay, that one looks dirtier. So my understanding is pre-64 uh, involved a lot of hand work for fitment. Not a, not a ton of just automated machining. Post-64 is, you know, cheaper way of processing. It's more automated uh, machining, you know. Um, Looks like we've got a spring in here. None of these, uh, I don't think anybody's ever been in here. None of these screws are galled or anything. They all look like they're brand new. See, I popped that screw out. And that spring should come out. Looks like. There it is. Went in there like that. We'll keep this over here like that. What else? Looks like we're pretty well stripped on the receiver end. Uh, these two screws, looking at this, doesn't look like there's anything they do except maybe hold a, uh, maybe a mount for a scope or, I don't know, maybe this is the, like where they would have the saddle ring on these things. I don't know. But it doesn't look like it does anything. I'll leave it alone.
I'll switch over to the muzzle end here. Oh, it looks like the uh, looks like the sight loop has been knocked off of this thing. What's going on with that? But let's take these bands out here. Okay. Is that one? Let's get this forearm stock band. Who knows what kind of nasty. It doesn't look like this thing has been really used that much. But we're going to clean it all up. We might as well get underneath the wood too. Not quite ready. There it is. And that uh, doesn't quite slide right off the end. So, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to get this guy out. The uh, feed tube plug, which is under spring tension. So I'm going to hold it. Capture that. And then let it out nice and easy. And there's the spring. Well, that thing is pretty clean too, not rusty or anything. Nice. Looks like this thing's ready to pull right out. Now that we're off the bands. Now can I take this off? Yeah. That one will come right off. Yeah, there's really no rust. What if this, this forearm stock just pops right, slides right off. Not too bad. I guess that wood gets pretty thin. There's a hole there. Looks like it's pretty chattery and thin back here. Just kind of keep that intact. Jeez, the underneath of this barrel doesn't look bad at all. No rust or anything hardly on it. All right. Well, there you have it. I'm ready to clean this thing. Uh, and, you know, 100% stripped here pretty much. So there you go. Winchester Model 94 teardown. I'm going to clean this thing. Maybe I'll do a little video on how to put it back together, but pretty much just going to go in reverse. Actually, I don't think I'm, I'm going to leave this bolt alone. I don't like roll pins. These are roll pins. I don't like roll pins. All right. You call those suckers up and then you're really in it. So, but this thing looks so clean. I think I can just brush this up, get some lube in there, clean out some of these surfaces, and just keep running this thing. That extractor doesn't even look bad. All right. I am going to end this one right now. Okay, so teardown of a 94. There you go. Thanks for watching.